welcome to today's special Christmas edition of Frightfully Forgotten. But what are we drinking today, Justin? The Dark Crystal. Today we're going to bring to you 1980s Christmas Evil. It is directed by Lewis Jackson and he is pretty much done fuck all. <laughs> It stars Brandon Maggart. Jeffrey DeMunn is in this, and he's in tons and tons of stuff, but some notable horror-type stuff. He was in The Walking Dead. He plays Dale. Mm -hmm. The movie starts out, there's a mother with her two kids. They're watching Santa putting presents under the tree and eating the cookies that have been laid out for him on the table. and Like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Just drinking, slurping all that milk and everything. So the kids, they go back off to bed. The one kid doesn't believe it's Santa, right? The other kid wants to go and see. He sort of walks back downstairs. He all sees Santa, like, going down on his mom. He is all... little sniffing her. And... He still has the Santa stuff on and everything. The, the beard. beard? And I get all itchy and irritate you down there, maybe. So this kind of, <laughs> like, almost traumatizes the kid. It fast forwards to the present day. We see Harry, who was the little kid. He's, like, obsessed with Santa. He's, like, wearing Santa pajamas, putting shaving cream on his face, too, like a big beard, you yeah. know? <laughs> Spying on, like, neighborhood kids, too. And he's like, he's seeing which ones are naughty and which ones are nice. Harry works at a toy factory, the Jolly Dream Toy Factory. Some and sick it's, assembly yeah. of slave work. <laughs> you know, the co-workers kind of walk all over him. Well, you're going to do something for me, Harry. You're going to work this shift for me tonight. Fucking works this guy's shift. You see him coming out, he's all tired and yeah. everything. <laughs> And he kind of stumbles past one of the pubs, and he sees the fucking guy inside the pub drinking. Yeah. And he's all making fun of Harry. He goes to his brother's place, watching him through the window. And they all start screwing on the couch <laughs> and everything, like... <laughs> so, starts to go to the kids' homes. He digs his hands in the dirt and puts all the dirt and everything on his face, and then he kind of leans against the house and like like marks the house the kids like oh i saw a monster in the bush did you <laughs> fucking hold <hope> someone <laughs> yeah, like holy shit 1980 yeah you can slap a kid <laughs> right in public no problem you see harry start to make his own santa suit he also starts to make his own metal toys like with molten steel and everything these soldiers <laughs> With yeah. big, sharp swords. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what those are going to be used for. The work Christmas party for the Jolly Dream Toy Factory. <laughs> His boss comes around, this new executive, and they're talking about this donation scheme and how it's like not really a donation for the kids. And Harry's pretty off-put about this. And he starts talking to people about the tune. Like, I'll tell you one thing, Harry. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> And yeah, you don't. Yeah. So what, what the hell is he talking about? He gets so pissed off, he goes to the factory and starts stealing the toys off the assembly line. So it's now Christmas Eve, and Harry's in full Santa gear. And he goes around to like all the bad kids' houses he's marked, and you can see him taking presents away and putting different presents under the tree. Mm. He takes all those presents that he had stolen to the children's hospital, and who the hell are you? Yeah. What are you, nuts? <laughs> he got his hand on he's his gun. Hand. He's like, oh, I'm Santa Claus. I've come to bring presents for the children. All the doctors come out, and they load all the presents in, and Harry's like, happy as a pig and shit. He ends up at this church. He's got one of those soldiers, those <laughs> metal soldiers with the big sword, and he stabs it right in the guy's fucking eye. Ah! Then he takes a hatchet out and starts just killing people right yeah. on the church step. He ends up at some random Christmas party suddenly. They're like, oh, Santa, come yeah. inside! Hector Salamanca all takes him inside. <laughs> yeah dancing around, he's giving presents to mm -hmm. the kids and giving speeches. Finally ends up at his co-worker's house. He tries to be Santa, he tries to go in through the chimney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he kind of tries yeah. to get down, but then he kind of, you see on his face that he knows yeah. he's stuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it, like, it's a long scene of him like, trying to get yeah. out of the chimney. <laughs> you see him like breathing in to like, <laughs> <laughs> breaks into the house and 
Harry? Then he takes his Santa sack and starts smothering him with <laughs> yeah. it. Takes his star, his Christmas star, slashes his fucking throat. <laughs> Christmas Day. The news is all over the town, on the TV. Beware, don't go near any Santa Claus. He goes out that night and kids are surrounding him. Oh, Santa Claus, Santa Claus, ho, ho. Mm. Trying to give them presents, but all the parents come out and they know that there's a Santa killer out. And then it turns into like old school Transylvania. Yeah, they, start light, they start lighting all these torches and they're chasing this Santa through the streets <laughs> and drives to his brother's place. The brother opens up the front door and is like, Harry, I knew it yeah. was you. <laughs> And that's where we're going to end the plot points. If you haven't seen Christmas Evil, keep watching the movie to find out what happens with Harry and his brother and the angry Transylvanian mob. <laughs> One of the best things about this movie is that it's still a Christmas movie. All of the Christmas elements and ideas are still there. And it feels like Christmas, even though it's a horror movie. Yeah. Even though it has all the Christmas elements, it more focuses on the main character and his descent into madness, right? Yeah. <laughs> and using like the Christmas theme of everything, something that should be so innocent, but turning it around into something so evil, right? Even though, <laughs> in his point of view, it's the right thing. And that's the cool thing about this yeah. movie is that whole social commentary of like him being so disgruntled with what Christmas has become. Yeah, the commercialization. The commercialization, this money-making scheme, you know, the company he works for, well, fuck the kids. It makes him go off the edge. You do root for him. Yeah. Because you sympathize with him. And he does want to do the good kids justice and mm -hmm. do the naughty kids, they get their naughty presents. Yeah, you know? exactly. He was made this way yeah. from systematic abuse. His brother is always berating him and his co-workers are slamming him down. Saw so his mother being eaten out by Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, that's enough to scare the shit out of anybody. Yeah. Good lord. It touches on a lot of things. A lot of subject matter for sure. It's not really a slasher movie per se because there's not that many kills in this movie. And you expect it to be a slasher. Halloween had just come out, Friday the 13th, A Black Christmas, all these kind of holiday, real slasher films. And you expect this movie to be on that bandwagon. Nothing like that. Yeah, no, it's... it's way more deep. And it's more like it's closer to Psycho, I'd say, Yeah. than yeah. it is to a typical 80s slasher. Yeah. A lot of what you see is sort of left up to the viewer to make the conclusion of. All the presents left under the naughty kid's tree. Like, what's in all yeah. those presents? You don't actually see them open them. We're like, oh, what do you put in there? Yes. The way the movie ends, you're like, huh. Yeah, it's like, what the hell does that mean? What just like, happened? What really happened there? Last year we covered Silent Night, Deadly Night. And this, at face value, looks to be probably pretty much the same. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. It's like a completely different movie with the same theme, same or whatever. theme but it's a smarter movie. It's a deep Christmas horror movie, you yeah. know? Deep as in Santa into his wife. <laughs> yeah, as in, yeah. Santa giving it deep. <laughs> Candy cane deep. <laughs> the curved end first. So, if you need a good fucking Christmas <laughs> horror movie to watch around Christmas. If you haven't seen Christmas Evil, please check it out. Until next time, Merry Christmas and keep drinking. You betcha.